the tone. Please record your message. Yo, Torstein, this is Dex. There's some crazy news for you down here, so we probably should do this face-to-face. Or as I like to say, let's do a facial. <laughs> Get down to the office, man. Oh, Torstein, I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> Hilarious. Every time we meet. I know what you're thinking. Where'd I get the mustache? I grew it. Why am I doing it? Great question, love where your head's at, bringing the 70s back. You're welcome, world. So, that's what I've been up to. <clears throat> also, coming up with names for the documentary. So first of all, I had a brainstorm, and these are the ones that didn't make the cut. So now you know the kind of quality we're dealing with. You ready for this? Life, love, and the art of having big balls. I'm a bear eating your face. Bitches, beers, and gold medals. I would ride a horse if it was a snowboard. I know what you're thinking. What do we do with so many great titles? I found one title that went above and beyond all of those. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Horgasm, a love story. How much do you love it? Kind of sounds like a whore having an orgasm. Great meeting. All right. I gotta take this phone call. The phone didn't ring. Oh, but it uh, did though. <clears throat> Hello? First rail out, broke my ribs. Uh, it was not Some new, some new shapers for the shoot. Oh, yeah. SPT wasn't really cutting it. Could you get it a little bit more over there? Yeah. There's some more. There we go. Throw some more up there. That's gonna get so hard. Big swing back and a little bit more to the right. Come on, you think this is big? We raked it perfectly already. It's nice, long, and big. Just the way you like it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Disco out here, man. All I do is just try to have as much fun as I can. It's been working out pretty good so far, I think.
not good. Lord, don't ever say oh sh in the air. Dude, oh I just. Oh my god. drove by it was uh just punched it into my gps it was the closest one that popped up we're from norway oh wow we're just coming around wow. for the snowboarding the tour, awesome, the contest man. stuff so you're like a world traveling famous snowboarder dude then pretty much i guess <laughs> he's really cool awesome you're really dedicated to his work one of the greatest snowboarders there is Best no word. Awesome. He's got a lot of talent. He's a cool I dude, cannot man. wait to see him. I think he's really cool. Love him. We all can't get enough. Big fan. <laughs> can't get enough. All right. Nope. Enough about Sean White. What do you guys think of Torsten Horgman? Who? Get Torsten Horgman. Who? I'm sorry. Who? Torsten Horgman. Do you know who he is at all? No. Who? Torsten Horgman. Torsten Hogman? That's the problem. Give him a nickname that we can remember and I'll, I'll love it forever. Yeah, like Timos. Timos, okay. Yeah, Timos, he's the man. Uh -oh. <laughs> Needs a nickname. All right. See, this is what we do. We need to talk about this. I'm Torstein, I'm from Norway. I'm 24 years old. I got introduced to snowboarding when I was 12. Wow. Yeah. I grew up riding a, a little resort in Trondheim, Norway. I didn't really think going to the States and making it over here was something I was able to do. It was so far-fetched, it was so like out there. And so I bought all the snowboard movies to see what it was like, you know? School sucked, you know? And just like snowboarding, getting away and be cool like those guys, that was the shit, you know? It is pretty cool, can't complain. <laughs> it was pretty much, pretty much on from there. In slope style, right now, oh! Orko's got this. How I met Horgmo. Three years ago, Powerball lottery. Odds of winning the freaking lottery are one in 160 million. You with me so far? I've never been in a plane crash, so obviously my odds of winning were super high. It's it's math. I'm living in my parents' garage, and then the whole thing exploded, and the garage caught on fire. All the neighbors come running out. Torsten is there. He's blown away, obviously. And he goes, "How can I be a part of this? Let me show you." Three years later, he's a part of it. I'm married to my board right now. Her name's Nicole. She's pretty fast. She's hot. She's a tough one, she likes it hard. And she likes to get wax jobs and... <laughs> Be quite honest, I have no idea what it's like even about. Tons of money in this industry and like that's what I'm all about. I like cash and I really fit in there. Like the last jigsaw piece in a huge jigsaw puzzle that you haven't found because you lost it under the couch and then somebody finds it and you're like, oh, thank God. And then you put it in and it's so satisfying. You're like, oh, it's done. And that's me and that's what I do. Besides snowboarding, what do you guys like to do? Party. Xbox. Why do you play Xbox? Um, I gotta keep my reaction up to par. Be on point with, uh, you know, brain speed. Right, I'm here. Holy shit, the X Games. I'm looking at you, or there? I'm thinking the camera, yeah? What's up, John? Good night last night. Holy shit, the X Games. Tens of thousands of spectators, hundred million or more on a worldwide basis just watching this on their TV screens. What does winning mean? Everything. Street cred, chicks. I make it rain, make it rain on them hoes. This is it, this is it. 
and then I've been trying to get Oakley to make these for years. I mean, granted, like, if you slam with these, all the glass would go into your eye to go blind forever, but that's, like, part of the fun. Like, that's part of the mystery. Like, don't slam, then. Get your shit together. You should make this your new pro model. Yes! Orgmosian. Yeah, Timos, something like that, right? And then just call Zach, just get him on the phone right now. And instead of writing Zach with a Z, write it with an S. Sack. Hey, ball sack. <laughs> and then he'll be like, what the fuck is this? And be like, well, it's not fucking dead serious man, about this. Okay, so is the triple court possible at Big Air this year? And if not, what do you think it's going to take to win? Um, it could be possible. I'd like to try it again. I haven't done it since I did it because I hurt myself doing it. You know that moment when your whole life boils down to one insane move? This might be that moment. Torstein broke a rib on January 11th filming uh, at a street session in Oslo, Norway. And now every time he compacts to spin, he says he's in excruciating pain. Oh, there it is! I don't really see myself trying that trick too many times because it's really dangerous. You never know what's going to happen though. All of a sudden you're like feeling it and it's like, oh, it's on, you know? Just the determination of this dude. Look at the focus in his eyes one more time. I strapped in, just standing there like, what am I doing right now? And I don't know, I just dropped in. so far you know yo Torstein shout out to you for breaking records and winning medals much love I'm a snowboarder too not as good as you but that's all right <laughs> I don't know if I feel comfortable about this man it's a fucking love story do you wake up in P excellence that seems to be what happened this season you've had like such a great year and despite the fact that you're hurt like you've pulled through how does it feel it feels pretty good You're gonna have to kill it tonight because I'm not allowed to drink any alcohol. So you gotta bring all the girls back to the crib. This guy, I don't know what they make him of. Yes! Yes! This is Dolly, and I hit her straight to the dome. Sorry. 
Are you alright? Okay. I'm fine. Thank you though. I felt so bad. What the fuck, man? Where's your shovel, man? What the fuck? Everybody's digging here right now and you're just sitting there. Think this jump's gonna finish itself? Fucking rookies. I think you're above everyone. I think you gotta, don't gotta help out or something. You roll out here and you just walk over the lip of the jump like that and ruin the whole aesthetics of it. Take you all the way out here, man. Then, fuck, man! Why'd you make him so fucking big? You know, after that triple cork, he just lost it. And now that he's done the triple, like, pretty sure that he won't look me in the eye anymore. Like, he really didn't. 180, I mean, switch, a, triple backflip, hand drag. 2011 you know, triple cork. It's cost me a lot of money, a lot of expensive dinners. He's like Mr. Bubble Bath. His bubble head will so many winners. Usually when I talk to him, he's like, hey, what's up, Sal? It's completely changed. Uh, yeah, it's on. In the back entry, bro. It's just like you see in the videos, you know? It's like to be out here. All right, dropping in 30 seconds. Drop! Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, that was so tits. Yes! Wait till Linda sees this shit. She's gonna break up with her boyfriend for sure. I think I'll have speed from there. That's it right there, I think I got it. Filming, it kind of helps my style a little bit because then that's the only thing you're focused about is like getting your stuff to feel and look as good as possible, you know, like your own style. And bringing that, hopefully, I mean, hopefully bringing that back into the contest. No, not much. I'm in Lillehammer at a street spot. Yeah, setting up a spot right now. Just shoveling some snow. What? You're doing what? Yeah, with a shovel. You do not shovel your own spots. Put down the shovel. Put down the shovel. Okay. And I'm just gonna arrange this for you. Pretty nuts. Helly's in the street now. And crazy Hollywood cameras. Five years ago we used DV tapes. And you have to change the tape. Now we gotta change the terabyte hard drives. <laughs> does go onto a highway, it's a little busy. Does look like it would be risky biscuits to slide. Risky biscuits? Or on a roller blade. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he got it. Hey Torstein, you want a treat? No five. No five. Here we go. Cupcake in your mouth. I oh, found that on the ground. Oh no. I'm so sorry, my lord. Oh my god. Oh.
We're on some terrible, stupid mountain, some godforsaken place. It's like negative a million. It's, he's gonna do some trick or some slide or some anything. I don't even know. Okay, in the middle of the slide, can you scream adultfriendfinder.com? Yes. He just screams adultfriendfinder.com because then I can just sell that big. Something like that. <laughs> we could also call you Justin Bieber. You know, that one's got a lot of problems tied to it. I don't know if we could do that, but never say never, right? <laughs> Dude, every single snowboard video is just like, oh my god, we're like in the mountains, it's so epic, like building a jump, like the best riders in the world. God damn it, what a stupid sport. Welcome to China. Oh, we are in China. <laughs> hey. Someone had the great idea of fucking buying a 40 ounce of Grey Goose. Really? I have jet lag. No, you don't. Fishy. First time. First time. First time. Nice to meet you. China is a big part of the world, and and it seems like snowboarding is, even though it's young in the rest of the world, it's very young over here. And if we can help out and push it, you know, that's gonna like push everything up. By the way, he knows his nickname is the good dog hair, which is a haogou, Mao in China. <laughs> yeah, it's I have I had some good days the day after drinking. I've had some really good days on snow. Like driving. Are you kidding me right now? Aaron style was always one of the like the main like big events that I always like dreamt of going to, you know. We don't like waiting. We like moving. First feeling is kind of like... It's a big jump. It's a good jump. I think it's going to be a great show anyways. To be snowboarding here in the bird's nest is like next level. We all have big tricks. All these riders have big tricks, you know, that we've done a million times already that the level's going to be high. And this is a big jump and it's a huge stadium. And it's going to be a good show, you know? So many good snowboarders come from, from Scandinavia and especially Norway. Um Hey Dex. Yo, T Dog, describe to me how hard you won. What, what did it feel like? No, I, I didn't win. What? My friend from Norway. He, he fucking slayed it. Are you telling me you did not win? I promised 
various sponsors, and by that I mean all your sponsors, that you would win. And this was yesterday, and they gave me a ton of money, and I already spent it all on fireworks and tequila. Well, most of it anyway. It's like I'm trying to run a business, and you're just trying to not do anything. What are you doing now? What are you doing right now? I'm in the car. In a car. That's yeah. awesome. Not on a snowboard, in a car. Would you rally driver now? Not a snowboarder? Awesome. What not. else is new? Are you, are you, what, what are you going to be in a blimp next? Call you next, you're in a blimp? Are you a blimp chauffeur? No. Are we doing it over here? Oh yeah, we're just gonna do it here because it has the better light. It's just a conversation you guys are stuff. So there's no questions? No, no, it's just you guys having a conversation. Oh, it's gonna be like no, no. a... <laughs> oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> it feels awkward for the first 10 seconds and then it's like, oh, I'm just talking. All right, do this. How did it feel winning the Aaron style in Innsbruck? <laughs> it felt good. Um, and there you have it. <laughs> When did you get here? This is so dumb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Is that kind of good? I think that does it, yeah, yeah guys? Okay. Yeah. That's kind of a lame concept, yeah. you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> X Games, it stands for extreme games, right? Everyone expects you to be extreme. How do you win anything? By doing what people don't expect. Don't be extreme, be mellow. How's it going? Are you in the contest? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Nice. See that? He totally believed me. I am in his head already. He's out. I would just go like this. Cause like you're not hiding the fact that like, uh, you're doing the uh. Just thrust, man, just thrust. Mm. Just have sex with that lens, man. Oh, what's up, man? Last night was insane. Go full on it in there. Be penetrating the lower binding. And just, yeah. Uh. Trademark that right away, man. Uh. Sexual. Make out with the board like you haven't had sex with it yet. You know what I'm saying? Say, uh. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you see what I'm saying? Uh, and just, uh, you see what I'm saying? Uh, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that's it. Uh, getting thrown out of a club. Like, excuse me, sir, you need to stop there. I'm gonna throw you out. Uh, yeah. Dude, the board's done. Uh, just stack it and we'll hit the bar. You're good? Uh, but I was gonna go out and practice on the big air jump. <laughs> That's funny. Seriously, you're tour stain, you've done this before, Gmo. All right, that would be your, you've got an image to maintain. Stack the board, we're gonna go hit the bar. Yeah. Sometimes I feel I'm really putting in a lot of hours, a lot of energy, and he's just doing nothing. That's what I feel, and it hurts. It hurts. First day on Hoppe to Torstein. It's the first time I've ever seen it. And it's quite critical when it's a hop where you go high up in the air, so it can't be a win. 
for da kan man fort ende opp med å bli blåst fire meter til siden. Hvor er det? Det hører til meg fysisk. Han er i midten av det, så han har en adrenaline pumping, så han ikke føler det så mye. Men jeg er ikke hørt. Det betyr at jeg potensielt ikke kan gjøre penger hvis han er skjønt. Det er som at det hører mine billabels. I think I'm good to go. Good thing the hospital's only two blocks away. better fucking be important. I'm shooting magnums right now. We're at the school, and uh, there's an alarm going off. East Hill English Montreal School. I don't need the name of the school. Just give me the general area on Earth. Outskirts in Montreal. Dude, hold on one sec. Andre! Andre! What's up? Yo, buddy. Listen. We got uh, one of my riders up in Quebec right now trying to ride some rails and do some shit, and an alarm went off at, uh, at a school up there. Could you get one of our Quebec guys? Use any means necessary. I want that alarm off. We're I'll on it. Awesome, Sean White, man. How come your hair is long like his? See, that's style. That's how you make a name for yourself, for real. Woo! Sean! I just gotta start riding pipe, man. You gotta start riding pipe. You gotta start wearing spandex. That's what's in. Such a boast. I know, right? You could be one, too. Now don't you worry. Now don't you worry.